Hello, my fellow hunters. This is Hiroja Shai with another Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And today is Clue Day. We have a new clue, even though the recent clue, the Earth Key clue, has not yet been solved. So, yay with the release of clues, even, other, even though other clues have not yet been solved. Uh, that's some progress, I, I think. Um, hopefully more clues will be released soon at a, a better pace, if you will. Um, I have a link right here and in the show notes to my, uh, I wouldn't say my critique, but a critique that was written about uh, how the game has been done so far concerning about clue allocation and communication and things of that nature. I, th I think it's important um, to watch or view or listen to concerning um, about the overall Satoshi treasure hunt uh, treasure hunt, uh, Satoshi treasure hunt game, if you will. So the name of the key is a bond key. Uh, today is May 18th, 2019. Um, I got the notification somewhere around two Pacific time again. Uh, so they're, they're being a little consistent. I guess I can say with the, the time of the release, uh, I will do the update video, but I'm going to push it in for Sunday since the key hasn't been solved. I'm going to gather some more information on the key as well as um, tools that people have been using to uh, uh, solve the key, particularly in st stenography. Um, I've had some personal issues, so I'm trying to try to work it out and see if I can get some help about the different tools that uh, people have mentioned and used and we'll discuss that uh, when I do that update video. Uh, but on to the, to the clue itself. So as you can see here, the Earth Key has not been found, but the Abab Key, which was released today, uh, May 18th, 2019, and the clue is Watch the Skies. So here we go. <clears throat> you wake up in the clearing the size of a small house, on all sides of the thickness jungle you've never seen, and the air is so wet that every breath feels like you're drowning. In your pocket is a waterproof notebook, some matches, and a ball of wind. Okay, so when I read this, it reminded me of Daisy, which I'm sure gets um, its influences from other uh, either scroll-based games or text-based games, but this immediately reminded me of the video game Daisy. And if you're unfamiliar with Daisy, it's a a modification of Armor 3, which was a tank-based um, video game, and it was modified to basically drop an individual into um, a sector of like this abandoned part of Russia. You have no weapons, no idea why you're there, and you have to basically scavenge around and find food, supplies, transportation, other people to team up with, and, and uh, fight zombies and people at the same time. It basically is just a survival-based game. There's no real like clear objective is other than just kind of surviving and, and exploring the world. Um, it was pretty hot, I would say two years, almost, wow, three years ago, four years ago? It's It's been a while, but it's, um, it's a very impressive game. Maybe it's longer than that. Anyways, I'll have a link in the show notes to Daisy in and of itself. It's, it's a, an interesting and fun game. There is a single path leading into the jungle, and here's something that sounds like an old synthesizer's impressing of a impression of a bird song, repeating over and over. After you walk along the path for a few minutes, you emerge in a second clearing, where a small azure bird is perched on a single tree. Its mouth is frozen open, and it continues to emit the same song you heard earlier. It's grasping something in its claws, which, you, which upon closer inspection is a jigsaw puzzle piece. You take the puzzle piece and you spend a few minute, more minutes listening to the bird's song. It chirps and tweaks, seem to be encoding a number, a big one by the sound of it. You're writing the number in your notebook, 7C2BAC1D, and you walk down a path opposite the one that led you to the clearing. When you emerge from the jungle, you seem to have somehow looped back into the clearing with the bird. Everything the same, but the puzzle piece is back in its claws, and the song is a different pattern and sound. You check your pocket. The first puzzle piece is still there, and then you realize this is a new clearing. You write down the new song, 1CC28A903, seems to be the number this time, and walk onward again into the steamy jungle. 
only to merge yet again into an identical clearing. Same blue bird, different song, different puzzle piece. The deja vu you feel makes you slightly sick, but you take the piece, write down the number, 2AC30BE38, and head onward to another clearing with a new number, 5272680C, and a new puzzle piece. Just as you begin to despair that this jungle is in some sort of, sort of loop world with no end, you merge into a huge open space, hundreds of times larger than the previous clearing. All around the perimeter are innumerable passes to the jungle, and at the dead center is another bird. You take the puzzle piece and write down the song's endless repeating number in your book, BF1D1DF06, but are at loss for what to do next. Each path looks equally forbidding, and you can hear strains on the bird's song coming from each of them different but similar. You feel the beginnings of hunger pains and you have a sense of certainty that many hunters' journeys have ended forever in this oppressive maze. You sit down next to the bird and you tilt your head to carefully listen to the songs coming from each of the thousands fold paths. Maybe there's something in the songs that can lead you into the right direction. So that is the clue. Um, it has to do with songs, bird songs in particular. Uh, a bond, uh, which sounded very familiar to me. Um, don't know where I first learned of it, but I do know it has association with birds, looked it up, and it has a bond comes from John James. Uh, he was an American uh, ornithologist, naturalist, and painter. Uh, this is from Wicca. He's known for, for the expensive studies of documenting all types of American birds and for this detailed illustrations of big birds in their natural habitats. Uh, he, he, his major work, a color painted book entitled The Birds of America. 1827 to 1839 is considered one of the finest um, ornithology author works ever completed. So that is the origin of a bond. That might actually be a hint to help with the, the birds. Um, they were kind of descriptive, so maybe it'd be interesting to know a little bit more about the birds and if that might help with uh, the clue. If you can see here, the cover shows a Louisiana heron. Uh, this is from Wicca about the book, The Birds of America, and all of this will be linked in the show notes. And of course, you can also obtain the um, book itself through Amazon or any of the bookseller sites that are out there, or use of your library card, depending on, you know, if your library has it at the ready, if you will. Uh, <coughs> be curious to see what direction this um, particular clue takes us. Uh, the last one had to do with music and an image and Russian dolls, which I will talk about in, in the update. And this one has to do with a little bit about, again, about music and, and imagery, uh, birds, if you will. And uh, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see if we're on this journey b besides learning different kind of crypto cryptography and learning about the different tools. If we also have a little bit of a, you know, educational usage, if you if you will, with the different books that have been um, used or suggested or influenced um, directly or indirectly into this game. Um, we're slowly, slowly, if you can say, um, are building up a bit of a book list, if you will, or a reading list, if you will. Only one left in stock, order soon. <laughs> so maybe some people are uh, purchasing this book. Uh, good for the resellers if they're uh, getting their dime, if you will. <clears throat> So that is it for the clue. Uh, it'll be interesting, like I said, it'll be interesting to see where this path takes us. Uh, I hope more keys will release uh, this week so we can kind of get the ball rolling and get some more traction. Uh, during my update video for the Earth Key, I will share some news that the, the Toshi Hunters have uh, shared and I'll talk about my personal journey trying to solve that particular key, uh, what I feel that the uh, game makers could do to kind of assist the hunters along um, the path, if you will. So, to the hunt, uh, good luck to all the clans and groups and hunters out there. Uh, this is Hiroshi Shive, this is Toshi's Treasure Hunters, and until the update video, and basically next time.